everyone, Leslie here. I recently discovered that you can use the Cricut Maker to cut quilting squares, and I'm so excited to share this with you. So you will need a couple of extra tools to cut fabric with your Cricut Maker. One, it's the Rotary Fabric Cutter. Um, I got mine at Hobby Lobby, but I know you can get them on Amazon or anywhere that um, they sell Cricut items. Then you will also need this fabric mat. It's made especially for fabric. Don't look at mine too much. It's got a lot of string on it um, because I've been cutting quite a bit of squares. Now, a couple of things. Why is it even beneficial to use the Cricut Maker to cut fabric? A couple of things that I that I think. One, if you're someone that maybe suffers from arthritis or carpal tunnel syndrome, that rotary cutting, especially if you have a quilt with a lot of pieces, is going to be hard on your wrist. So using the Cricut Maker, though it might be a little bit slower than using the rotary, um, it's going to be a lot easier on your wrist. The other thing, maybe you have uh, visual problems. You can't see as good, so you're having a little bit of trouble getting complete accuracy with your cutting uh, measurements. So this is you know, accurate and precise. So what you're getting here when you're doing this on the Cricut is precise measurements that you put in. So there's a lot of benefits to it. You just have to decide if this is something that works for you. Um, but now I'm going to explain how you can do that. All right, so let's go over to the Cricut Design Space and get started. Please note the version we're working on at this time is 7-14-139. I'm going to click on a new project. And I'm going to go ahead and make a little guide for us to work on as if it's our mat. So I'm going to go to Shapes, and I'm going to choose a square. And I want that square to be 11 inches uh, width and height. So since the lock is on, it went ahead and made both sides 11 inches. All right, so this is going to be my mat. I'm going to go ahead and change it to kind of a pink color so it looks like the mat, the fabric mat. And now what I want to do is I want to change it from basic cut to guide. So now, oh, when I changed it to a guide, it took the color away, but that's okay. So this is our mat. Now, what I'm cutting out today is some two by two inch squares. So again, I'm gonna to go to my shapes, and you wanna make sure to choose the square that does not have the rounded corners. We don't want this one. We want this one for my particular project. And so it already came out as two inch by two inch. Um, we can go ahead and change the color of that Let's just make it like a, a yellow color because mine are actually cream colored. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on it and then duplicate that by hitting Command C. And I'm on a, I'm on a Mac, by the way, and then Command V. So I'm going to do that several times and fill up this sheet. Now what I want to do is I want to attach all of these so that they will all go to um, cut when I send it to cut. So I just clicked on it and I'm selecting them and I'm going to go over here to the attach over here at the far right on the bottom. See here it says attach. I'm going to attach all of those and then I'm going to click to make it. So now we can see it here on the mat, and we can see all of the squares that I have ready to send to the cutter. You can see here uh, material load type. It's going to be on a mat, and the material size is 12 by 12. My mat is 12 inch by 12 inch, and I'm not going to mirror this. This is not something that we need to mirror, and I'm going to click continue. And then you want to choose the material that you're going to use, and I have already chosen cotton fabric as a favorite, but you could always go to browse all materials, click on all categories, and find fabric. And then you can choose the type of fabric that you have. That's I think that is so neat. 
and so it has the cutting settings in there already for you but if you want to save one of these as a fabric I mean if you want to save one of these as a favorite you can just hit that gold star and it'll show up on your uh, on your page but I already have it saved here so I'm going to choose that and it says load the tools and materials so here you can see that it says you want to load the rotary blade into clamp B so I'm going to go ahead and do that all right so we have a little mat here and here's the Cricut maker and I've already ironed my fabric so I'm going to lay it on here smooth it out you want to make sure it adheres to the mat really well. So as an added measure, I don't want to do it too hard. I'm going to use the smoothing tool. I feel like it's stuck on there pretty good. And then we're going to load it into the machine. Press that load button. And now we're going to Go ahead and send it to cut. By pressing the send button. And there it goes. One of the things I did notice is after having cut several um, pieces of fabric on here the back gets really full of string and um, little pieces of fuzz and things like that from the fabric and so it's kind of hard to get off on the directions on the mat it says to use your your tools like this to scrape it off and I didn't find that very easy so what I did was when it got pretty bad I took it to the kitchen and I just gently scrubbed it with a little scrubber and some Dawn dishwashing soap. Then I dried it really good and um, it still had a, it still had the stickiness left to it so um, no worries about that. So one of the reasons I like it is because I had a hard time cutting precise squares. Um, I think I just get in a hurry and my vision's not great. So when I use the Cricut, I can be sure that my squares are the exact size that I need them to be. Okay, so I just kind of cut through that so you wouldn't have to watch the whole process, but we're almost finished cutting out all of these squares. If your material doesn't adhere very well, it's going to mess up. So another thing that I have discovered is this, it's called a temporary bond basting adhesive. Now, if you have a warranty on your Cricut, um, it may interfere with your warranty if you use this, um, but I use it and it works great if you're having a little trouble with the stickiness. And I can tell that this mat probably needs a little bit of um, this applied for the next one because you can see how it's kind of coming off. So all you have to do now is peel off the excess. And they are smooth as butter. Look at that. So there's all those beautiful squares. You'll have to trim off, take off some of these little edges that are hanging on. But look at that, isn't that great? So there's several squares that I didn't have to cut with the rotary cutter. Thank you very much for watching this little video tutorial on how to use the Cricut to cut quilting squares. I hope you will come back. I hope you'll hit the like button and the subscribe button so you can see what I'm up to next. Happy crafting. Bye, everybody.